Hello, everyone. Hello. It's nice to have all three of us together on the screen again. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> the together again edition. Mm. Well, we we have some things to share of going on and happenings here in the next uh, week to couple weeks, actually. And I'll get us started. One is looking towards this Sunday. And we're going to be sharing about our National Youth Conference in Colorado experience together, long hours in the vans together, worships and time at the conference, and then a post retreat in Estes Park. So I invite you to join us uh, in person or on the live stream as, as we share. The youth will be helping share. You'll hear some reflections from them and, uh, and then some from me as well. So looking forward to that this Sunday. Also, following worship, we're going to have a, a time uh, that the Fellowship Commission is hosting to just celebrate and, and recognize Kurt's uh, re return and being with us uh, in person. So that time will be after I'm told that there are many muffins and uh, among other things that, that will be there. So just a time of fellowship after worship this Sunday. Many muffins or mini muffins? Oh, yeah. Both. Both. <laughs> many, Both. many muffins. Many, many. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. And then we looking to the to the looking to the following uh, Sunday, and this will lead into uh, some things that Kurt has to share. And that is before Camp Mac Sunday, uh, there's an opportunity for some Camp Mac camping. If people want to set up tents, those are the people that I know of right now. But there are some other accommodations that can be made. And I can let you know what the pricing of those are, depending on where you might want to stay and, uh, and be at a cabin or another lodge, or if you want a tent camp uh, on that Saturday. So contact me if you want to know more about that and let me know if you're interested in camping out on the night, the 13th before Camp Max Sunday. Yeah, and Camp Max Sunday, of course, um, the worship begins at 1030, which is an hour later than we usually meet here at church. The kind of, it's not really a joke, it's actually accurate. We've always said, if you show up here to church, you forget it's Camp Mac Sunday, you still have time to get there. Get in your car and drive to Camp Mac, and you can be there in time for worship at 1030. We'll be in the same place we usually are, which is called Wedding Hill. Um, there'll be some benches there that the camp provides, but also you can bring your own blankets or uh, folding chairs or whatever. Um, I did want to say something about the live stream because, because we're at Camp Mac um, and because of the inability to have uh, like our, our normal, you know, Wi-Fi arrangement of immediate uh, live streaming. What we're going to do is we'll record the service. We'll take our equipment up there. We'll record the service and then we'll post it to our YouTube channel later in the day, probably in the evening, because it takes a little while for the, the service to upload. Um, and you can go on the YouTube channel and look for it on Sunday evening, or if that's a little complicated or difficult, just wait until Monday, and the link, the direct link will come out with the newsletter. So you'll be able to find the worship service if you're not able to be there, but it won't be available in real time live streaming. You'll have to watch the recording later um, if you're not able to be at Camp Mac. It's unfortunate, but um, it's the, one of the limitations of being away from our church building. Of course, uh, after worship, there'll be time for lunch. Um, you've heard some of those details about signing up and, and paying for lunch or bringing your own picnic. And then there'll be time for recreation, for swimming, boating, that kind of thing. And uh, we always look forward to being at camp. It's a, good, it's a good chance for us to be together in that space. It's, you know, one of the things that's changed, um, it used to be the only time we worship outdoors. And so we know a little bit about worshiping outdoors and it feels a little more familiar. And I think that makes it feel a little different. And that, I, I think that's interesting. So um, looking forward to, uh, to that Sunday. So a week from this Sunday, Camp Mac. 
And then a few Sundays beyond that, um, on August 28th, we have the start of the children's Sunday school year. And we're starting it with a kickoff. And what that means is that during the Sunday school hour, the kids are going to have activities that they do. And the Education Commission is providing hot dogs and, um, and um, another main dish. I'm not quite sure what it is. And we ask the families to provide um, some sides or salads or chips or whatever you want to bring to share. And, and then we're, the Education Commission is also providing desserts. And so it's a, it's a nice little gathering. You know, I think anyone can come to this little, little feast at the end. It's primarily focused to the families, but, um, but, but there we go. That's, that's what we're doing. This is the pre-K through junior high. Um, I think that the adult Sunday school classes are going to be beginning as well, maybe um, all at once on the 28th, or it might be a slow rollout. We will let you know. Um, and so you'll, you'll have that information ahead of time. But I'm looking forward to that. It is, it is so good to be together. It is good for the three of us to be together. It is good for us to be together as a church whether we are connected um, through the live stream or face-to-face -face or sharing a meal or just thinking about each other and praying for each other. And so let us go into the rest of this week in that togetherness in all the variety of ways that we can do that. See you Sunday. <laughs>